Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you why and how to use reverb in Reaper. Now this is the first video in a series I want to do that focuses on common effects we use in our productions and how to use them in Reaper. But I've made effects videos before. The difference in this series is that I don't want to just focus on how to use these effects, but also why. The first effect we're going to focus on is reverb. I have a project set up here with an acoustic guitar. Let's hear it. And as you could tell, it sounds dry, like it was recorded in a very small room. And if we're happy with that, we could leave it as is. But if we want to make it sound like it was recorded in a bigger room, we should add some reverb. Let's go to the effects button on this track and click it, which opens up this dialog where we could add some effects. Let's go to the Reaper ones and let's choose this reverb right here reverberate. Double click it and that opens this reverb plugin. Let's put the dry sound at zero and adjust the wet sound or reverb level to taste. And we can make the room size smaller over here. Or we can make the room size larger. Or make it really large. And we can increase the dampening to make the room sound darker. Or lessen it to make the room sound brighter. Then down over here, we have two filters. The high pass filter is going to let the high frequencies pass through while rolling off the low frequencies. making the reverb sound brighter, while the low-pass filter lets the low frequencies pass through while rolling off the high frequencies. Creating a darker reverb. Let's make the room a bit smaller. And just to compare, this is what it sounded like before. So let's hear what reverb sounds like on drums. I have a drum recording right here with a kick track, a snare track, and a pair of overheads. Let's hear what it sounds like. Again, it sounds pretty dry, like it was recorded in a small room. So let's add some reverb to make it sound bigger. But instead of putting the reverb on all three separate tracks, let's create a reverb return we can send these tracks to so they can share the same reverb. So let's create a new track down here by double clicking. Let's name it Reverb. 
And now we can send all these tracks to it. Let's select all these tracks, then go to the routing on any of them, hold down the shift key and drag it to this track. Notice the cursor changes, letting us know we're creating sends. And then let go. And let's add a reverb to this track. Go to the Reaper effects and choose Reverbate again. And this time we'll bring up the wet all the way and bring down the dry. Because the dry sound is coming from the individual tracks and the reverb is coming from the reverb effects return. So let's go to the reverbs routing and we can see the sends we created right here. Let's start them all the way down. And we'll work on the snare first. Let's solo it and let's bring up the send. Let's make the room size a bit bigger. Let's add about the same amount of reverb to the overheads. And finally, with the kick, I usually add a bit less. Let's hear it all together. Without it, let's try making the room even bigger. Or smaller. We can adjust the dampening. or the filters. Let's try the high pass instead. And without, Let's add a bit more. Before and after. Let's try it on something else. In this project, I have an electric guitar. Let's hear it. Once again, we could put the effect right on the track. Reverberate, bring up the dry, and adjust the wet to taste. Let's make the room bigger. Even bigger. Adjust the dampening. Or the low pass filter. Or the high pass filter. Let's make the room smaller. Let's make it darker. Let's make it much smaller. And 
and let's adjust the initial delay, which will start the reverb later, creating a slapback effect. Let's remove this filter. Let's bypass the effect and back on. And finally, let's hear it with vocals. We have a vocal track right here. Let's hear it. Let's add the same reverb to this track. Full dry, adjust the wet. Let's make the room bigger. Let's make it real big. With less dampening. Let's filter out the top end. Or the low end to make it brighter. Let's make the room a lot smaller. And let's add some initial delay. Let's make the room bigger. Let's make it even bigger. I think you get the idea. Using reverb makes our dry sounds or the sounds recorded in a small room sound like they were recorded in a bigger, more open space. So that's pretty much it. That's why and how to use reverb in reverb. Hope you learned something. Hope you can use it. And I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bingo, boys, let's go.